All right, guys, we have a box. And hopefully this video won't be too long. Yes, I say that every time. Do I know you could play a drinking game with every time I say, um, yes, I know that too. Uh, um, this is a brand new company to me. This is Bare Naked Bath. And I'm really excited about this box in this company. Yes, I say that every time too. Okay, um, there are not many products in here, so let's just go ahead and dig in. This is going to be really cool, I hope. Now, this did come packaged, I think it was in an envelope or an outside wrapper, so I went ahead and I just popped this tape and I took that wrapper off. This smells really, really good just, just from popping the tape and it's already got scent coming out of it. Let's put it that way. Okay, so... I found this shop on Instagram, of course, always trolling Instagram for new bath bombs, and this is what the top of the box looks like. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's take this. It looks like it's packed really, really carefully, so let's let's cross our fingers. I've gotten, I've gotten a couple lately that, I don't know, they could maybe, I don't know. I mean, they were okay, but... You know, it happens. It's fine. But considering the fact that I'm giving some away, I hate that that they weren't, didn't come in perfect for you guys. Okay, so this is where I may have to go grab my scissors. You know, you would think at this point I would have them or a knife before I tried to open these boxes for you guys. Okay, now this one I can tell you right now is what I'm smelling, and I just absolutely adore this scent. I've only had one bath bomb scented in this scent, and I was so excited to find something else scented in Bite Me. Now, I said that it smelled like Hawaiian Punch before, and I still stand by that, and I've heard something like a Cherry Cola before, but it's just a really unique scent, and I love it. It's, it's kind of tropical. Um, but it's unusual. It does kind of have maybe a fizzy um, undertone to it, but this is, um, I don't know if you can see it. Ah, it's a coffin bomb, and it's got, it's got a keepsake key embedded in the top. It smells so good. It looks like, oh no, look at that. Did I just do that? I don't know. I don't think I did. I might have. These coffin bombs, they really are delicate. Oh my gosh. I may have done that. I'll have to go back and look. Um, so I guess I just got one of those. I thought I got two of those. Okay, well, anyway, that's mine, so it, that's not too bad. I thought I got two of those. One for me, one for you. Okay, so this one, okay, these are super, super cool. You guys are going to die. At least I died when I saw these. Oh my gosh. These, I don't think I have to be quite as careful with because they're no delicate edges. Okay, now this one's name is Alas, Poor York. Now, I looked this up because I didn't know, I didn't understand the reference. It's from Shakespeare. It's from Hamlet. I'm not cultured enough to understand that reference, but that's what it's from. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, now this one is scented in subdued florals and musky woody ambers. Now, this does not sound like me, does it? No. This is a really cool skull balm, obviously, and it looks like it's bleeding out of the eye. You guys, this friggin' lights up. I'm not kidding. This lights up. This is an LED bath bomb. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I swear I can't. I can't even. I can't. I can't even. I just, I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited about this. Like, just, yes, take a second. Take a, take a second. Now, that being said, I have another one. I have another one. Okay, this one is... I think it's just called her jack-o'-lantern. This is going to be easier doing it on here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So pretty. This just looks like just your quintessential classic jack-o'-lantern. 
This is also an LED bath bomb. You put this in the water and it freaking lights up. Is that the coolest thing ever? I live to find this kind of stuff. I swear, I swear. Now this one is scented in tart apples and a bit of pumpkin. So that's pretty perfect. And these look just amazing. Now, one thing I also noticed that looking on her Instagram page, she has a 3D printer and she makes her own molds. That is some freaking dedication, innovation. I love it. Just, just amazing. Just bravo. So I have two of these. Two of these. So I told y'all this was going to be short. I kept my word. What do you know? Look at that. It's amazing. Now I think that this one on her site is sold out. Poor York sold out. This one is still on there. These are still on there. So go run and get yourself some LED bath bombs. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard and I've seen some pretty cool bath bombs. So that's it. I will obviously get these demoed as fast as I can. I can't wait to see this. I got to because I hope I don't mess one up because I'm not really sure how to demo glow in the dark. Um, you know, I tried to do the glow in the dark before and I wasn't quite sure how to do it. So I'm gonna have to flip the lights on and off and run back and forth to the wall. And you know, so anyway, um, we're going to see how that goes because I would just want to make sure and do a really good demo for you guys. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you think that's really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to talk about it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.